Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Pen, where I am your host, uh, Coach Billy Elias, and we are the home and we are central command for everything soccer and national scouting report, both nationally and internationally. Today, I have a very uh, special guest, Mrs. Daniela Perez. Now, she's a national international player because she's of Nicaraguan descent, and she plays for the U-20 women's national team. Um, she just got back from CONCACAF. Um, I saw, you'll see some videos. She played Puerto Rico and several others. And she was all heading to the U-20 Women's World Cup in Mexico, obviously before the virus outbreak. So, Daniela, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Um, you're welcome. It is a pleasure to have you. Now, I will say that you are the most accomplished player um, that has ever been on the pen. Um, we've had players that have played internationally, of course, but none that have ever represented their country in a World Cup or in a massive tournament like CONCACAF. So why don't you explain to me a little bit, tell me about the experience of CONCACAF. Um, what was it like, you know, your teammates? Um, just, just give me a brief overview of what it was like to play at CONCACAF and how you guys did. Um, yeah, so it was really fun and it was a great experience. I got to play against, you know, older, um, better experienced girls and they just taught me a lot and my teammates taught me a lot of how to play the game and it was overall a great experience. Now, what teams did you play when you were at, at the CONCACAF? We played Mexico, Puerto Rico, and Guana. I'm pretty sure. Okay. And how did you guys make out? Uh, we didn't do as good as we planned or that we hoped, but um, we lost in the final round, or not the final round, we lost in the round that uh, we had to qualify to right. uh, continue on. Right. The group stage. Yeah. Yeah. You lost in the group stage, so you didn't make it to the round of 16. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, now you were heading to go to Mexico to play in the U-20 World Cup, correct? Yeah. All right. So why don't you tell us a little bit about now, um, Danielle is a defender. Okay. And you're going to see the video. She's strong. She's got lightning speed, lightning. Um, she's uh, a five foot two frame, but it doesn't matter because she plays well above her um, height and her weight. Um, and you'll see that. She has great field awareness. She finds the open players, plays quickly. And understand too, as you're watching this footage, this is from a the CONCACAF. So this is one of the biggest tournaments in the world. Um, so why don't you tell me a little bit about, um, you know, the experience that you've had moving from club to CONCACAF? Because you started out with club. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how the whole Nicaraguan national team came about? Well, um, they actually emailed my dad and apparently they came to one of my showcases. And so they wanted to see if I could come out and try out for the team. So I did that uh, about like two years ago and overall it was success. And going from club to a national team, um, it was very different. The training was very different. Um, technique was very different. And it was something that I had to get used to, but um, I was glad to do it. You know, and I think that's something that a lot of people take for granted is the mm -hmm. difference between club and anything after club. Because there's a difference between club and college. There's going to be a difference mm -hmm. between club, a club and like um, a national academy. And I'm not talking about like DAs, I'm talking about like MLS academies or something like that. But in your particular case, you know, I don't think people understand that to compete on these different levels, the training and the things you're learning have to be so accelerated and you have to mm -hmm. have such a good knowledge base before you can even hope to compete at those levels. All right, so mm -hmm. awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, a little bit, we're gonna look at some of your clips. We're gonna go right to the video tape and when we come out, we're gonna just talk to you about, you know, grades, college and what your aspirations are, okay? All right, let's take okay. a look at Danielle in action.
like I said, you can make your opinions yourself fast, strong, physical, accurate. That's 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 what we see, right? So um, now we've talked a lot about playing on that national level. Let's talk a little bit about your grades. Um, we know right now you have a what? 3.8. Yes. And you haven't taken your SAT yet because um, mm -hmm. they were canceled, obviously, but you'll be taking it. So talk to me a little bit about um, what, what would you like to major in when you head off into college? Um, I want to be a vet, so I want um, to major in like biology or chemistry and like animal science and that based stuff. So, okay, so veterinary care, right? So I have a lot of different players that are studying veteran you know veterinary veterinary care one's doing zoology one wants to work with horses are you gonna you want to do like a a generic or do you have a specific kind of area that you're looking to do um just like domestic pets i guess so like generic okay awesome okay so now w w you have a heck of a resume academically and athletically okay so June 15th is right around the corner. There's no doubt you're going to get on the phone and there's no doubt you're going to be highly sought after. What is it that's going to set you apart from other players your age where a coach is going to say, okay, I'm going to pull the trigger and I'm going to spend the money and I'm going to offer this young lady a scholarship? Um, I guess just my like want to play soccer and like um, how hard I work for things. And if there's something that I need to improve on, I will do like whatever it takes to improve on it um, to become a better player overall. Okay. Awesome. So, I mean, yeah, there you go. There you have it. So, um, once again, Daniela, thank you so much. This is like the fifth attempt at trying to get yeah. this sorted. Uh, so, we, we reverted to using Facebook Messenger. Okay. So, um, it just, and nothing else we tried was working. But I am thrilled that we got you on the show. I'm so excited to watch you as you grow and you progress. Um, so thank you once again for being on the show, sweetheart. Yeah, um, thank you for having me. Of course, of course. Um, and as always, thanks for tuning in. God bless. Stay frosty and Semper Fidelis.